your first two successes in fiction were essentially science and odd, but they were essentially science fiction. Listen, they go to another planet, they meet aliens. It doesn't get more science fiction. Yeah, it's science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> what was weird was all the religion that you had in those sure. Now, what made you switch? I mean, you started in the future. What made you switch and go into the past? Your last two books have been historical novels? No, last three. three. I, even when I was writing the, the Sparrow, which is set in the future, um, I still thought of that as a historical novel that took place in the future. That's literally how I thought of it. Uh, and it wasn't something where I was, I wasn't looking for the radical differences between today and, and the future. To me, I was interested in the continuities. What would still be here in 2060, in 2165? You know, what's still going to be around? Well, based on history, the Catholic Church is still going to be around, although that's more <laughs> um, But religion is certainly, you know, that's a commonality. There are, um, there are two things that are uh, um, characteristic of every single human culture, past and present, including the Antipas, and that's music and religion. Those two things are absolutely, they are as diagnostic of our species as thumbs. When you look forward, though, you can speculate a lot more than you can when you look back. Surely. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's true. You were making up all the characters in the future. When you look back, you were dealing with myths that many people felt they already owned themselves. Oh, tell me about it. You go to Tombstone, boy, and I'll let you know. Right. Uh, yeah. How, how do you make space for your own creativity with, you know, some I pretty just famous myths? do it. Just do it. And I do it with such, I, I have so much research that goes on. I know more about everybody who is in that town yes. in 1878 or in 1881 than almost anybody else on this planet because I really go deep on all of the research. So there's people who know all about Tom McLowry, but I know about Tom and I know about his brother and I know about his other brother, William, uh, the lawyer, and I know about the Clantons, and I go deep on everybody. So this gives me. Um, I get my arms around an awful lot of this, and uh, and I go a generation, two generations back on families, so I I don't genuflect to anybody. Okay. 